ladies and gentlemen welcome roller coaster tycoon episode honestly no idea but i'm gonna take a wild guess and i've not uploaded episode 50 yet and i've not uploaded episode 51 because i have two videos i've made that are not uploaded as of yet which means i'm predicting that i am now on episode 52 or i'm completely wrong and it doesn't matter ladies and gentlemen Ooh, this should be pretty fun. Adrenaline Heights build a park to appeal to the high-intensity, thrill-seeking local people. 1,600 guests. Now, the thing with this is I'm going to guess that all of my guests will only go on terrifyingly scary rides. So I can build some pretty beastly stuff with this and go wild on it. Over to not $10 if the ride's been built this year, which it has. And I'm also going to be increasing this queue length massively. But first things first, food. No drink stall. Boom. Caught again in the flesh. Give me the drink stall, please. I'll have that on maximum funding. Let me check this ride. Cathesis. Cathexis. Pretty good name, though. Uh, I'm going to now make the queue for this about 10 times longer. And also, where's this park entrance? I could take the queue entrance over here, to be deadly honest, which is probably not even a bad idea. I'm going to do it. If I can get it round the ride, actually, let me just see. Can I get it round this? I can't quite see what's being built here. Okay, so now I'm just going to put it underground, all of this. But I'm going to basically just build the queue line all the way here and go from my usual tip. It's going to be a massive queue, by the way. Uh, and then just sack that off this entrance over here and just build from here. Can I go underneath that? No, I'm going to have to go over the top. So I go over the top like so. Again, I need a lot of guests in this park, so 1,600 should be all right to deal with. But when I say this is a gigantic queue, this is a bit on the overkill side. So I could just, for now, leave it like that. Eh, the only problem as well is if someone gets off the ride and they want to go back on it, they have to walk all the way back to the start. So that's going to take so damn long. Right, over to nuts. I am now going to send an advertising campaign out for a particular ride. Whack it on Cathexis. That should make its money back. Now, I need a drink store, but do I have anything else that's good? Oh, we have loads of good stuff to work with. So I'm actually going to change the plan. This park isn't very big, is it? I'm thinking maybe I should build a pathway. Let me get a... No, you know what? Let me get a launched free fall. Oh, I need an information kiosk, actually. Let's get that straight away. Information kiosk can go here. Click that in and build all the way around it, and then we should be good. There we go. Beautiful. That is fine with me. I'm just going to do what I normally do. I'm just going to do this. I think sometimes it can get a bit crowded, but should be fine. Right. Over to that launch coaster. Let's get all these rides in as we can. Oh, mate. It's going right there. That is beautiful. I'll build everything around it, but that's okay. And I need it to be really intense, these. So let's go for like 120. Entrance can go here, and I'm going to take it over the top and connect it to the information kiosk. And the exit can just take this tree out of the way. Boom and boom. And then you right now will have to go up to 20, maybe? Oh, I can go beneath it. Oh, this is a bit of an illusion, actually. I can go right beneath the track. Perfect. Okay, this is good. Once again, we're big queues on this park. 1,600 guests in such a small park currently is going to be a little bad. Right. I want, like, high, very high, very high would be perfect. That is fairly perfect. I'm going to rock style to it. Give me my ratings and we'll go from there. Medium, very high, medium. Uh, it'll do. They want intense rides. They can have intense rides. And I should be able to still charge like 550 for that. So it should be okay. All right, rock style two. Plane entrance could be space entrance. And you can just be called booster. Wait, my ride broke down. Hold on. Responding to the breakdown. Never mind. He's already there. My rhythm and bill. That's good. Uh, I'm wondering... No, leave that as two. Right, that's two rides in the park. Now, I've got a top spin. I can just bang this on berserk mode and that'll be fine. As for placing it in anywhere, good. That, if I'm not getting illusionified, is not a bad location to put it. So once again, I'm just building rides along the path that I've been starting the park with. This one might be a bit harder to do, though. Uh, if I go to there, I should be all right to get it to, like, just down here. That should be fine. Can I uh, build across there? Yep, 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 and yep, and yep. Good, good, good. And once again, big, big entrances. Big queues. Can I do this? Can I go underneath Cathexis with this? I really like the name Cathexis, I'm not going to lie. And I can... No, I can't. Okay. Bye, money. So this one's minus five, which is I can go there as well. Let's fill up all the space. I may as well. 
And what I'll do again is we'll do the trick. I do that and I build around it. As long as, again, it doesn't get in the way, which it kind of does. Do two over the top. Can I do two down? Well, that was the footpath in the way. That's good. That's what I want. Can't quite see. So I'm just going to have to slay anyone that's in the way. Peace. You were watching the ride, mate, and now you're dead. And I can't even place it, mate. That's the best part there, bro. You died for nothing. I'm just going to let you sack all this off. It's not really working. Right. Two people are dead. Berserk mode, my man. Let's go. Fire you off. Big Q once again, because we're going to get a lot of people in there. And you can be charged. I think I can charge 550 for both of these. I'll check that people are paying it, but let's just make as much money as possible. All right, off you go. You can just have a uh, some sort of a jungle entrance or something. Yeah, let's go abstract. Okay, so again, we need the drink store, but I can do an advertising campaign for the park now. Now, my guests will probably go on all these very scary rides, but we'll probably still be throwing up quite a bit. And the only downside I've got from the park right now is that if you do come on Cathexis from the beginning, or you want to go on it again, you have to trek all the way back to the park because I don't have the figure eight installed right now uh pathway wise so i do need to look into that when i can other than that this is looking fairly okay to start us off with today so what else can i do i don't think i can make a twist intense enough and i don't think i can make a pirate ship intense enough but let me try put the pirate ship down here put the entrance and exit there but i'm just gonna max it on 20 i think it is oh my god 25 swings what do we get from that yeah, no one will go on that for 25 swings, so let's leave the pirate ship. I could put it in the park to generate more guests. I probably need to do that. Oh, wow! I have a lot of good coasters to build. Um, Yeah, this will be a difficult park with my rule set. I might need to build some rides that nobody will go on just to generate the guests from having those rides. Six. There's no way I'm getting that high enough. Low, medium, yeah think so maybe i could test the pirate ship maybe i think in all honesty i'm just going to be building an absolute truckload of roller coasters so let's begin working out how i'm going to build this park i think figure eight wise i just have to treat what i've got already fire these in here and hold on my top spin let's call it berserk for now let me check how my guests are doing, but I'm going to have to build loads of rides and just hope that I can generate enough money to do so, which should actually be fine. As long as everyone's paying to go on everything, we're good. Does this information kiosk have good prices? It does now. We're okay. So guests are going to come on up here. Now, the queue length for this is really good right now, and they're all paying the $10, which is nice. But I might need to build another ride somewhere around here. And I'm thinking if I just build like a wooden wild mouse, maybe... They're pretty trash, but if I build it around here, I can make use of this space and conclude this area, and that's what I'm going to go with. However, it's a little annoying, so let's go with something like this. Or turn it this way. We call this down here. I think about there, entrance will go to the side. One more. So the entrance can go there, and the exit can go here. Then the ride itself, I just do this. Take it well out of the way of the entrance and the exit. We can work around it. All right, let's build it. Okay, these ones are fairly... These ones can be quite enjoyable to build because... You know, you get all the, the speed on them. But I, I, I don't like building these that much because they can be really easy to make ultra extreme. Uh, and judging by this drop I've already got. Let's try it. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God could do that that's pretty freaking fast though okay that alone right right now i'll probably have my ratings on this ride to be into the very highs and i'm gonna say it will make all of that as i'll make use of all the space little turn there not the best again it doesn't really have much speed these rides so it might be all right Hat stall, still need the drinks. Drop there. Big turn. Small turn. Look 
going to quickly test and see if this makes it, because it'd be a bit of a nightmare to fix. But I get 13 cars. It's rubbish, but it's just to get guests in the park, really. So let me just see if it's actually going to make it. Again, anything that's like high, very high, very high right now with like 10.0s on the intensity is absolutely perfect. Okay, so 20 right there. It should make that as well and be pretty low. That's okay. And that means the rest of the ride might not make it. Yeah, that's okay. That's all I needed to know is that information right now. So now if I just do another... Well, I don't really need to do another lift hill, actually. Let's just go... To 30. It's to 25. Back down again. That's 15 that's on. And then if I remove that to there, and then maybe I have to lift hill this final 30, it might just crawl around those last ones. Well, let me just fire that off quickly. It should be all right. Yeah, nine miles an hour there. Jumps up there, grabs that one, and I might put another lift hill there. But let me check the ratings first. I see something that's like high, very high, medium, perfect. That's good. All I need is to fit it in that little space. And that's another ride in the park. I'm going to have to build a lot of roller coasters here because I won't be getting many guest generations from my thrill rides because I don't have many thrill rides. As for my cues and paths, I have to work all of these out as well. It should be a bit annoying. Should go under, right? That's good. Down two should connect. Right, that's that done. And then my egg trance, I will do... Again, big entrance. And again, the space that I'm at, I want as much space used as possible. For as many queue lines as possible. And now I just have to work out how to take it somewhere useful. Um, I guess going over the top's my best bet. I'm just doing something like that. These don't make that much money anyway, so I'm just going to set it off. Rickety rats. I ain't even a bad name. And you get that one guy in the park that's like, no, oh, this isn't a rat. This is a mouse. Right, again, charge a lot for this because, again, there's not many people that can go on it, so I might as well just charge, like, $10 and try and maximize the profits as possible. I'll just set that wait for full load, go immediately. Advertising campaign for a particular ride can be... Uh, honestly, all my rides are absolutely banging right now. Perfectus, I guess. It's sort of full, but I may as well. No food or drink yet. Free rides can be on rickety rounds. Slow. Slow down. Right, let's get some pathways going. I'll let guests run on all the dead pathways. They may as well. You can be doing that and that. That's perfect. And I'll get another handy mechanic in and we're good. Over to that, now I want to build another ride. And I'm going to set you to be... I'm as inspection every 10 minutes. I'm going to set this as a pagoda entrance up there. I'm going to set that as 10. I'm going to set everything as 10. I might as well. Get my berserk with a... T what is this wild mouse style? Is it this one? Pirate style. This is booming, bro. Get everyone on that. No need to wait. It's a nine-second ride. Get everyone off. Get everyone on the next one. Good. Right, let's start sticking into food stalls, and I can stick the drink stalls in later. Can I get one in there? Raise it a piece. Nice. Perfectly placed. That'll keep most people happy. Let's get some bins knocked out. 1,600 guests. Yeah, it should be fine. I think, again, the challenge of this park is to once again work out immediately that you need to get your uh, drink stalls in. And then the other challenge would be I have to actually build this park quite efficiently to keep the guests coming. So the best way to do that would be to connect the pathway out the exit of this cathexis over to here, maybe around there and something around these parts. Or this would be a way better idea, actually. Let's go like this. And then I build this part out while i'm here mate have a candy floss stall there you go brother right so this part of the park that i've already built i'm now going to basically ignore i'm now going to be building everything out to the side but the first thing i want to do is actually build the pathway and i'll build the pathway from here down to into the water all the way up to the mountain 
And I'm going to make it go around this roller coaster. Again, I don't need this space right now, but when I'm on 1,600 guests and not that many rides, I'll have a lot of rides, but this will allow me to expand my park very easily. There you go. Boom. Done. Beautiful. No, my candy floss stall. I'm giving him it back. Boom, boom. There we go. Is he happy? Literally just stepping there for the candy floss stall. Enjoy it. Hey, the binder, mate. Nice. All right. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to build another ride, but I want to keep it kind of compact into this area. So what coasters do I have? I have a ton to play with. A Virginia Reel, I might be pretty hard pushed to do it. So let's use a Wild Mouse or a Wooden Wild Minecart. As they're my only like one by ones. So let's go with this one. Again. It's going to be a really ugly park, by the way, when I build this one out. Not this ride, but just every park in general, just because it's a big, massive hill. You are saying that when I'm on a park that has, like, terrain, it's so much nicer to play on. And by terrain, I mean, like, flat terrain. Let's go. Let's do the usual. Let's get some high. Whoa, this thing goes high. I should make something pretty big here. Okay, let's do a... That to there. Yeah, I'll go underground. Why not? Might as well. Ooh. Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Not quite. Um, no, there'll be no combination I can do then. And I can't exactly just turn the ride. Maybe we just go forward a bit. But even then, this ride goes on for so long and I can't just drop a turn and get destroyed on ratings. Um, I guess we just go down twice here. And the underground goes here. Okay, this works. And then I can take it back under this part because this part is going to be dead to the world. And again, we just do big ones. I can bring it back out. Now I'm above my station. How fast am I going? 75 down to 25, though. Don't build these that often. I'm just going to check my ride and find the ratings out now. Look at the queues that I've built, though. It's a good thing I built those queues. Keeps all the guests nicely locked in, which is good. And then they're not getting in the way. Oh, I need to go to the toilet. Let me just watch this ride first, but I have no toilets to it. Okay, that's a good reset. Oh, no, I was looking for the ratings. It'll make everything, though, so that's fine. Let's put toilets down. Every ride is popping right now. That's not the ride, by the way. I will add more to it. I'm going to add some food stalls here as well. Pizza stall there. Toilets can go there. That won't get in the way of anything. And another toilet there. That might get in the way. I'll just put one there. Might as well. No point in me not loading the land. Didn't buy that one there. Only got two Gs. Okay, for my game crash then, but we're all good. I have very high medium. I mean, I could honestly just open it as is now I think about it. That's all I need. If I do hit the ratings of that high, very high medium, I don't need to go advanced because this coaster is just a cheap one that I'm building just to get guests into the park. Whereas when I get around to building my twisters and all that, they're the big ones I want to make. So as far as I'm aware, that is an incredibly efficient design and I'm going to stick that one in the park. Now I need to work out how I'm going to build this path. Though. Connect there. I can go and do everything I want in the world with this entrance path now. I want it big, though. I can get it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Can I get it to attach them there? No, I'll never be able to do that. Burger bar. Where's my drink store? Again. Yeah, no real good way to attach this. 
Best way would be that. And again, that just pins up nicely. Fire it off. And again, I'll just charge $10 for that. And because there's not many people on each car, they'll pay the 10 and it'll make me some good money. Right, advertising campaign, how are we doing? We are profit, everything is doing okay and making me some good money. So we're doing an advertising campaign for a particular ride. Uh, Confexus, my, all my queues are full to the brim right now, which is really, really good. I still need a drink stall though. Cash machine. Oh, mate, this would be a breeze of a park now. Oh, mate, any park with a cash machine is so easy to maintain the guests. That is very nice to unlock this early in. Nice. Any park, basically, just pay for a ride with cash machines. Your guests have infinite money and they will spend. So let me just stick a ton of these in and I can make every single ride I've got in the park so expensive. And they're paying everything. I still need my drink stall, though. But I've got a lot of good rides to be building on this park, which is nice. So I'll put one there. And I'll stick some benches down. And that should keep everyone good for now, right? Food-wise, I'll stick some up here. A burger bar I think I unlocked and I didn't put down anywhere. So put that one down. And a hot dog stand as well. I'm not sure if I put that down, but I'll put one... Uh, let's put it there. I might as well. Okay. So far, so good. You are waiting for full load. Everyone's good. Wild Mouse can be called... Deep Drop. And you know what I'm going to do with my Deep Drop? Scary. There we go, mate. In they go. Okay. No need to pay the loan off next. Build another ride. Maybe I build all three of these because they're compact, but that's boring. Let's build... Oh, a stand-up coaster will do well, actually, because this thing's ratings are automatically incredibly high. So I can build myself like a sort of like not even that big of a stand-up coaster and I'll be okay. Everything's got a full queue, so I don't really think I have to worry at all about any ride not doing well. But the stand-up coaster normally has fairly trash stats, so let's kind of put it out of the way a bit. Can I build it underneath this? Yes, I can. So this, this is placeholder for now. Down one. We'll place it like here. As long as I can go under, we're good. And I'm going to build it up and around. Okay. Little stand-up coaster here. What have I got to play with? Can I get over the top of it? First try. Okay, good. As for bringing this back, I can just build all the way around this thing. So this should be all right. Let's build it backwards now. Booster broke down. I have a lot of stuff, so that's okay. All right. Let's drop that. Let me quickly test. Make sure I can bring this back. Fairly easily. Yep. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. Good to go. Right. Let's build. So this is a stand-up coaster. It's not the best, but again, it will have guests on it. So we'll go with a double to start, which is 10 feet, but I am in the middle of a nice area. So let's work out what I have to go to to drop a double down onto where I'm going here. Let's put it flat. One more. That might hit the edge of the park though, but I'm going to go with a flat down like so. I will dig out this land and then go straight into a big turn, which is good. Let's turn it to this way. Could probably just grab all this. Yeah, nice big turn. Go underground with the turn actually here. Bring that one up. Um, I guess I could do this. It's a little uh, crafty design coming up here. I should be able to take this up over the top with that. And I don't think I can twist these, can I? No. If I go over the top like that, I like the look of it. And then I bring it back around again over the top, bring it around. I know what I'm going to do. Okay, let me. I have to dig a lot of land out for this thing, but that's okay. We can go underground every single time and save ourselves the space. Turn twice here, and I will now bring it up with a regular. Like so, to about 25, maybe? I do want to get a loop going. Now, that might get me battered on g-forces so let's not go for that 20 feet is what we want and i want to drop like that down here let's touch and do a photo while i'm there might as well and then let's whack in the half loop into corkscrews going to the other side perfect right this part might take some digging can't really see what I'm doing. Got it. 
That's all I need. Now we're good. Now the rest will be easy. Okay, that should be all right. That will make my uh, intensity pretty damn high. And that's all I really wanted with this ride. And then we have another ride in the park. Getting ourselves some money. That alone will be enough, I think. So we'll go with 31, 27, 22. Twist it round here. Drink store, got you. Thank you, game. Now I'm at 10. And then I just bring this round here. And that will be the end of that ride. And again, that's my, that might be like a medium very high. But once again, that's all I need. Okay, entrance not yet built. Okay, entrance exit. Drink stalls instantly. And also, I'm going to change this to thrill rides. I have enough good roller coasters and I might be able to unlock an Enterprise. And I'm going to... I bet a lot of money that I will be able to unlock an Enterprise on this map. Okay. Drink stalls everywhere I can. All the guests that are thirsty will now no longer be thirsty. We're raining. Hey, look at my queues, bro. Absolutely stacked. Five drink stalls. Six drink stalls. I think that one's possible to get to. And then seven can be... We're going to place it there. Pretty sure I'm going to need to delete that in a moment anyway. Right, okay. Test. Let's test one train at the moment and build the rest out. I guess for this to be medium, like 4.8, very high. High. Nine point something uh, on the very high. But that's all I need. It's perfect. Down the drink store. Beautiful. It's making everything. Oh, 39 into the corkscrews. Perfect ride, actually. And it worms back at 29s through the small one. Should be fine. That'll be fine. It should be roughly what I said, I think. Might be okay, though. It wasn't actually as fast as I thought. Half in the way. High, very high, high. Well, we've got the high excitement. The guests will go crazy for this ride, I think. We'll make a lot of money on the queues. Be beautifully placed. And again, with all the money in the world right now, I might as well charge like $8 for this bad boy. We're in a bit of an advertisement. So I'm in October year one, and I also almost already have the guests. So again, I don't know if I'm going to be struggling with this one right now. Really good value. 850 it is, but 860. Ah, nine, I think. Might as well. Profit saw. Stand-up coaster just opened. It's fine. People are going on it. That's all good. Advertising campaigns are running, so you can be called. Stand-up. I don't really know. Let's call it that for now. Forest Flyer, I'll just call it. I think I've used that name before, but it's going through a forest, so it's flying. Forest Flyer, all good. Advertising campaign for a particular ride can be for the park and for Forest Flyer. It should have good um, guest, uh, whatever it is. Wait, shit, I put three people on it. No, that's rickety rats, we're good. And free drinks for anyone that wants to come into the park. Alrighty, couldn't afford that one. Let's uh, do that one more time. Free drinks on that one and go. Okay. Suddenly I can't hear anything. Did I unplug my headphones? I did. Right. Everything's looking good. A bit crowded over here, though. How am I guess doing? It's too crowded. There are 200 people. Is there any way I can fix this? Yes, there is. Can't delete that path, though. That will help fix it. And again, I don't think I need to worry about these right now. The guests will find it, but that'll stop it getting as busy because now the guests will actually walk around the pathways. There's also, I think, of, is it a, a four here? Can move that. Hey, lucky guy, man. Lucky, dude. But right, that should fix the crowded, and then everything else is doing okay. People are queuing for Cafexis for a while pretty mad but no re hey caroline was a pleasure so now that i do have a long one let's just stick some tvs in and keep all my guests happy all righty everything looks like it's doing booming how we doing over it guests are loving it two g's on the loan let's pay off the loan and then build something big if we can get it 
I can get a couple more thrill rides. I'm trying to work out which ones I can get. I can get an Enterprise, and that would be the only other one. Oh, Magic Carpet. If I max it, maybe I can get that. But coasters-wise, I can build Twister, Stand Up Twister, Hyper, Giga Coaster, Inverted Coaster. All of these are pretty booming. Right, this is probably not getting built, by the way. But let me just test it quickly. Test it. Uh, max out the swings. I'm thinking this will be like a medium, medium, medium. Um... They actually might go on this. I'm going to check. Let me build the entrance. Very small one, just quickly. Pretty sure I'm wasting my time, but I do think they might go on it when it's combined nine for everything there. Test that. 15. Go. Give me the ratings. You're open. More thrilling. That's fine. Nobody will go on that at all, then, in that case. All right. Let's build a roller coaster where this pathway is done. I might as well. Okay. Wooden. Let's build some of the ones I don't build that often. Stand up twister. I've already got a stand up coaster, actually. So let's go with a. Probably a four to hyper twister right now. Maybe we build a flawless coaster. Hmm. Giga coaster, maybe? I feel like building a twister coaster, but a compact one. I feel like I've not built any compact rides in a while, so I'm kind of in the mood to build them. How I'm going to build this? I'm going to build the station through the ride. So let's start the station at 40 feet. I can take the ride beneath the station as much as I want. All right. Pack Twister Coaster coming right up. These are my specialties, by the way. So let's uh, not waste space instantly, actually. Launched left hill. Doesn't have to be the biggest ride in the world. Right, let me just see if it will make that. Oh, this is a nightmare, actually. Hold on one second. Uh, if we just do that down to make this a bit smaller, I might as well build it bigger. If, I, if it makes that, then it's fine. If not, I don't want to build the whole ride for it just not to make the initial part. It'd be so hard to fix it. So let's just see what we're doing today, sir. Perfect. Okay, good. Now we can build the ride. It's actually worth doing that. Uh, if you ever want to build a ride, but you're not sure the heights and all that, just set the ride off like that. Because now I know that right at the top of this, I'm basically just maxing it. So now I want a compact ride. So let's go crazy with this thing. See what we can build. Problem number one. Not a problem. I can do that and it'll touch the bottom. I will have to probably move the entrance exit though. Right there. Take that out. Um, yeah, I think it will make all that quite nicely. Add some more twists in. Can we go through with the twists or will it hit something? Close. Is that exactly the same? That's exactly the same. That is different. And that won't make 100. It won't make 95 either, though, will it? Um... Swing an inverted ship. I'm going to take a guess as well that that will not make anything there. So let's go. Let's just go with that. And then maybe. I feel like. You're up. Then up again into this, and then we go down, down again. Can I get this over the top in any way? What about if I just took a photo here? Right in the center of the ride. Can I take anything through? Here we go. It's perfectly placed to not be able to be doing that, but we can put something in maybe. Again, that's right on top of it, which means if I can remove that and go down, I don't know if there's any way to do it. Sometimes when I build compact rides, it can get a bit complicated when I'm like doing it. Right now, we're just kind of trial and erroring stuff. So that big drop's just getting in the way. 
75 doesn't work either. Ooh, maybe we can do this right through here. The triple helix down. Like so. Right now, I need to work out very carefully where my entrance and exit attacks are going to go. Because if I'm putting it here and here, is this in the way now? Okay. But if I put it on the other side, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do what I want. So again... Unless... No, that won't work at all. Um, I can go over the top like that, and then I just hit this, and there's no way I'm getting around that as I... Okay, there we go. That does something. Allows me to build the entrance and exit as so. I've no longer got the photo in, so I'll back a photo here. Can I get a half loop? Hmm. And I like the look of it already. It's looking decent. Holy mother of park rate and being destroyed. 200 guests too crowded in this section. Why? Doesn't matter. I let the park rate and do as it wants for a bit. Drink store one. That might be the problem. I don't know which way that's open as well. That's good. Uh, yeah. It's just like one giant pathway, isn't it? Through there. So maybe what I've got to do temporarily is just send everyone the other way. Probably all going to get lost. Vandalism. Right. Let me time out my coaster. Time out my coaster. Now I need to address the vandalism. And the way to do that is one, two, three, four, and now I can see everything. Oh my god, it's bad. Maybe my park just isn't big enough. There's a lot of litter everywhere, though. Well, let's just put some more handymen in. Oh, I don't have that many handymen, do I? Oh, I don't think I had any handymen. That's why. Yeah, so if I get rid of all of this, fix up that little thing, I should have to get the park rain back up pretty fast. Although my stuff just got redestroyed the second I fixed it. There are vandals vandaling live at the moment. So let's just quickly fix this. I also don't think I have any advertisements on right now, so I need to get those going. Yeah, the park does look pretty busy. Wait, is that a guy in the middle of nowhere? What are you doing, brother? Come on, man. All right, 20 handymen should be able to sort the park out. Advertising campaign for the park. Advertising campaign for Ticky Ride. I'll just stick them on Rickety Rats or Texas. The Texas gets them onto the other side of the park, but maybe that's what's going wrong. See, now are they all getting stuck here? Delete and delete. Let me work this out. Forest flyer might be the cause. Yeah, they're bouncing off forest flyer. That won't help though, will it? That should help a bit, though. Let me go back to my ride and let the park range sort of stabilize itself. 3D Cinema, definitely can't build one of those. Right, this part. Do I have launches? LMS launch track to what speed? 67. So I was considering a launch track now where I am. Because there's not really that good I can do here. Well, I guess I could just go straight out. Yes. I should still be able to get back into the entrance. Now I'm at 30 feet, which is like below everything, so I can quite easily or should be able to just go like underneath and come back through at another point. Whereabouts though? Come out here. Should I do that? I need to go very wide with the um, diagonal path though. That's about the best I can do. I guess I just go underneath the ride. If I do that, I'm going to have to dig out a whole hell of a lot of land. So I guess we just go underneath. Yeah, then now I'm a sludge track. Boom, 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 boom. Don't want underground because I'm going to take this up in a loop if I can. All right, if I go back one, can I half loop over this track? What if I go now? 
Man. Perfectly placed to not allow me to get a leap in there. I can get over the top, though. Oh, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> oh, mate. The big one. Just halfway through the ride. It's like whenever you go on a roller coaster in real life and you, you're halfway through the ride and then boom, just something ridiculous happens. Like some huge drop comes out of nowhere. Normally when you go on a ride, the first drop is the biggest. Whenever it's not, it really can mess you up. Would have been good. Uh, I'm going to go to barrel roll, actually. If I go with a barrel roll, I might be at the right speed. Straight forward is where I was. We go barrel roll. Right, I'll do. Might be able to go straight under if I do two here. Unless I'm hitting the small one, maybe might be allowing me. To oh, I've got the diagonal right through the center. Yeah, I can't really go through there anymore. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a. Wait, can I half loop out of that? No. Did I put the advertisements out? Yes, I did. I'm going to go with a half corkscrew to the right. Can I go to the left? So I can't go to the left. Let's go to the right. And the ride should be fairly slow where I am right now. I don't really like it, though. Maybe I might do this instead. I might just do that instead and then maybe drop it back down here and then just go for a giant loop instead. It might work. Can't quite do the twist though, that's the thing. Uh maybe that that yes, that works. Okay. Yeah, I have to do it with this combination, but this will allow me to touch down here, and then I might be able to get a large loop in, which would be perfect. Might not be able to get it straight away because I might be hitting this track over here. If I just go forward. Oh, am I directly underneath the track? Okay, I need to just add one then, because I'm not going to be able to get this in at any point. No, okay. Let's go back here. I already got the photo. Then I go down big. This one. Twist it round. Large loop. I'm still in the way. Right, where is this going up to? I'm still in the way. I need one more. Maybe that. It's a bit weird, though. Now, with all the space in the world, drop the loop. Can I go to the right? Coaster in the way. Unless I twist out again. Do I actually want to do the loop? Oh, 95 feet. Will it even make it? It comes from 75. Right, who is this vandal, mate? Destroying all my stuff. Yeah, all the guests are just kind of getting lost on the pathway. Unless I turn the whole park into a one-way, but I think that might cause me more problems later on. Okay, I basically sorted that out, though. Right, let's come back to this ride, and I would like to do a large loop to the left, and it might not make it. So what I'm going to try and do here is get my ride back to the start. And I think I can just do a little quick 40 feet. On here, might as well. Um, do that there, that there, that there. Down one tap. Right, let me just make sure that makes it. Three strains of seven is perfect. Ride's beautiful, though. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so it makes the start. Barely, though, but that's the speeds that I've got. Big hill, mate. Very happy with that. And then it comes through this middle bit. Speed should be all good at the start. I can always put another track in if necessary. Plus, I have a little booster track coming up now, but it's not going to do much. You know, like a couple mile an hour now. Whoa! Okay, it makes the loop. Right, it'll be a little extreme because of the end right there, but what I want to know is this bit here to 67. Is it needed? Let me just see that again, because it did hit the loop. It hits that, then it comes down here. Does that, and then can it do the loop without the booster? 
So it needs the booster to hit that loop. Which is good to know. But let's just add them in now one by one. As soon as it makes that loop, we can probably just take it back to the end. Off you go. Because it, it looked like it accelerated loads on just one of them. Two. Two and I'll split them. Both at six. Oh, hold on. Uh, okay, let me do LMS launch track 67. Regular up, done, test, go. That should work now. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm working at whatever the hell speed that said. Let me check that again, actually. Actually, no, I know how to do it. We're good. Okay, right. As for the ride ending, I could just end like that. Not yet. So I've got my loop at 95 feet I'm working on here. Only just 95, though. What is that? Oh, man. I'm just going to have to leave it in the video now, aren't I, bro? Ginger tax. Oh my god, ginger tax, fine, fine, fine. Thank you very much for the ginger tax. It is appreciated. Ugh. Put another loop in here, maybe. Fexus in the way, never mind. Had the idea, though. Eighty feet should be fine at eighty feet. Drink stall over to the side. Nothing wrong with moving drink stalls out of the way. And what I'm going to do is 80 feet down to where I am now. I'm going to put a loop in. The ride's kind of expanded a little out of where it was actually going to be. But... Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going through the loop there. It's also not there, is it? Let's go two, two, forward one. It's the loop. Forward two. Roto drop, nice. That's a fill ride I can use. So that's not going through at any. Is it just too high in general? Okay, let's go to this. Just this feet here. Can I? Corkscrew through a loop. I think I have to come in at a different angle, but I'm wondering. No, never would work, would it? Inversion wise, I'm good on them, though. Let's try and get this right back to the start. Unless I can just drop. It's perfect to go back now. I think we just do it. I just come here and I just put brakes in. 13. From 70 feet to 40. We'll actually go straight back. Will it? Just the coast of one in the way. That should work, right? That looked like it was pieced correctly on. Nice. Okay, beautiful. Right, let's give it a go. Off you go, mate. Too crowded, 197. Honestly, not really much I can do about it right now. I have a lot of money as well. Let's get rid of that loan. Advertising campaign for the park. Free rides on Twisted Coaster 1. Free food or drink can be candy floss. Free rides on a particular ride can be forest flyer. And I now need to build a pathway. A roto drop down here as well. So make sure it makes everything, otherwise the ride goes kaboom. Oh, it's a good thing I checked. Okay. Beautiful, and here can be the path to the ride.
Got all these people coming over to my ride, bro. Ain't open yet, fellas. We'll put them one higher. Rad Q's not that big, actually. Probably need a bit bigger. Okay. That should do. We have a very high, very high medium. You're open for Bizno. And I can charge a lot for this. And a lot of guests are going to go on it. And I'm probably just going to charge... I'll just do 12 and stick a cash machine right outside the entrance. If anyone needs money, they can get it. And I've already put the advertising campaign on. Everyone's going to go for it. That should be good. A lot of chairs. Food, drink, toilets, cash machine is there. Everyone comes over here. That's good. Let's keep expanding and try and get this... Uh, it's too crowded here. A bit more out of the way. Buddha drop. Nice and high. Should be able to build under this fine. 45 to 70. 70 to 45. Perfect. Bring this round to there. Oh, wait. It's a little ugly what I'm doing right now, but I am just trying to get it under control. Again, massive queues. Big queues for everything. Very ugly park. Like I said, I'm never a fan of building on these uh, horrible mountain terrains and all that. Dude, test that. Should be pretty intense. 24 guests on the ride. You want to go on something more thrilling? Wow. Wow. That guy must want some terrifying stuff. Right, what's the rotor job saying? There you go, mate. That's what you want, bro. Let's charge six for this. Enterprise as well. That should be good now. Let's uh, change to roller coaster. Yeah, I got the last one there. That's perfect. Six dollars for that. It's pretty damn intense. Arc rating's looking good now. So now if we get an Enterprise, and I blast this... Leave all this be. And this is where we want to be building stuff. Made it flat there. And that'll do. Nice. It's an exit, right? Maximum enterprise spins. Let's go. That's what I get. And there you go. And entrance for this. Again, nice, big, long, juicy, throbbing entrance queues. So what did I say? I was... I'll do not the longest queue, but that'll be fine. And that's perfect. You're open for business. And you can be wait for full load again. And I will charge. I have no idea, but maybe six again for that. It's almost like more thrilling than that. Jesus, I need to put something super intense in the park in a moment. Toilets, toilets, cash machine. Twister Coast is absolutely stacked to the brim. We set off to that. Roman Rampage. It's really just not a Roman Rampage, but it'll do. Roto drop. Only down. Everyone's playing this game called Only Up right now. Only down is the new ride in this park. Okay. I'm on August year two, and I've got 20 Gs, and I need to build something super, super intense. And I think the only way I could do it is... What else could I get? Mini suspended? No, I guess the only way I could really do it would be a stand-up twister if I, was, if I was to build one more ride. Or it's a wooden. It's a wooden bow. These are always hugely intense. I just have to do like loads of drops. Right, we do get to build the wooden then. Nice. Okay, let's work out where we put the entrance for this thing. Nah, let's just stick it on top of the hill. It's going to look ugly anyway. Actually, no, I want to do it this way around. Start it here. Put it right in the middle of the hill, actually. Okay. 
That's how we get back to it. Here's the beginning of it. All right, wooden coaster. Big boy. Big boy wooden. Entrance and exit will be built onto this side. So what we'll do is I'll drop it straight out of the station, down around here, and then we'll just go into a big lift hill and just do a big ride. So close. No, I'm getting over this, mate. Oh, I'm at the park entrance. That's fine. I can work with this. Uh, three. Yeah, it's a bit of a beast. No, 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 I want that one. Boom. Right over the top, 120 into 100 feet should definitely make that. Yep. Yep. No. Okay, let's go. God, this might actually be extreme. This is actually a little freaking ridiculously quick right now. Maybe I'll just keep it short. Ninety from ninety should make it all. Eighty. Right, let me just kind of take this straight back and work out what the shit I just built. Because, uh, <laughs> yeah, this one's a bit big. And I think it might be extreme off the bat here. I kind of just bring it back in a normal way. Oh, shit. That was a trainer, man. That was quite cozy way to get back. I think it should work first try. Uh, one more. Okay, let's just see what the hell I pull with this ride. I'm gonna, we'll, we'll break it down to ten, three cars of ten. But that is, again, like I said before, it does a bigger drop after the initial drop. And the initial drop is huge. So this could probably just be extreme off the bat. Now the big one. Oh, 63 miles an hour is not bad. Ooh, just sniffs over. Which means it'll sniff over that. Right, let me just see the ratings of that first of all. I'm going to rebuild this second half here because the speed's actually back down. Oh, I reset the um, chain lift to be faster. Because that should be a uh, high, very high medium. That's okay. That's perfect. I'm on seven drops. So this will be like a 9.0 intensity and my guests will love it. So that's perfect. I'll come back to here. I didn't see the speed, but I'm going to treat myself back if I'm at zero. Nah, there I get a loop in here. Although... Oh, I can. Perfectly. My boosted stats. Down helix. I've got the money. Right exit in the way. Sorry, brother member. I want my helix in. <laughs> Do another one over here, I think. Oh, do I need one more? Oh, yes, I can. Look at that. Feet to 65. I can do anything I want right now. I'm just kind of clicking the button. Heartline twister. Just what I needed. The park is complete. No, I am not going to be building a heartline twister. Very silent this video. I feel like I'm really focusing on the rides that I'm building. Oh, please. I oh, I don't think it is. I think it's very close, though. I might be able to helix this back into the thing, but I think I'm one away. I think I am not quite close enough. I'm just on the inside, and there's nothing I can do about that, unfortunately. But if the ride can be ended here without me looking and just building everything that would be excellent that's fine three's lots of 10 excellent good that is a wooden coaster 
It should make everything. Go on, my dear friend. Let's see what you can do today. Uh, come back to hit. So again, it's at the 29. It might not make that loop, actually. Ooh, it's fine. Okay, I might have to make the bigger cars. Three trains of 11. I think I'm going to switch this to. I'm going to do it now, actually, because it'll make it faster. Although it might not let me. Yeah, I took a train away. Yeah, let's just speed it all the way back. It's good that it's not too fast, though. Again, it goes down here. Might not make this last bit. Okay. I've got no speed left at this point. Can I just bring it back into the station from here instead? I'll do. I might as well end it there. Three lots of ten. Go, go, go. My guess again would be very high, very high, high. And that's why I need nine point something on the intensity. It's perfect. Yeah, not the best ride in the world. I kind of like how I've made it though. And I've got a nice big juicy space to the side of me here to build my queue. Right next to the station. Bring it back and forth. No reason to do anything special with us. Nice big long queue for all these fellas to queue. Limb launched. Uh, I don't think I need to build any more rides. I think we've got this uh, park in the back now. Had a good selection on air as well. And we just ended up building a wooden. Woodens are just the best to build in almost any park for intensity. Can I build... Yeah. <laughs> that exit's gonna annoy everyone, but whatever. Right, off you go. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, they're getting off for two dollars. They're getting off for two dollars. No, oh, they're getting off for cheap. No, I'm sorry. It's fifteen dollars for this new one. It's twenty dollars, mate. I'm gonna charge twenty. I might as well. They'll pay it, and I can stick a cash machine outside as well. Cash machine. Where is the entrance? Exit entrance. Oh, there's already one there. Uh, just in case you broke there, bro. I'll help you out even more there, fella. Nice. That's to make some good money. Wait for full load. Favorite ride of 17 guests already. That is good. Q is stacking up. Advertising campaign for a particular ride. Advertising campaign for a particular ride is the wooden roller coaster, which name I'll change in just a second. Free food or drinks can be burgers. And free rides to the particular ride can be only down. Colossus. I'm pretty sure I spelled Colossus wrong. I have no idea. But that name was just stuck in my head while I was building. I like this part here. I might rebuild this little design up this hill, down there. The little extra one there looks a bit weird, but then it allows me to bring this back and they touch each other at this point here. So maybe if I connect that round, I can make them borderline synchronized, like on opposite sides. Enterprise done March year three. Other than that, I've got 50 grand in the bank and it's all March year three. And I needed 1,600 guests by October year three. And I've basically beaten the park. There we go. Nicely done, though. So I, the way I did this one is normally thrill rides are amazing for making money. But on this park, I didn't really have access to all of the thrill rides. I had access to the better ones. The launched uh, free fall is one of the best ones. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I just built some small coasters that I know are going to be quite intense. Like this one is normally almost always very easy to get high intensity. This one's almost very easy at high intensity. This one's extremely easy at high intensity. This one's already made, but that's also very, very easy. Twisters are a little more difficult. There might even be people saying that they don't want to go on this one. No, it looks like everyone wants to go on that. You can't find Roman Rampage? Well, too bad there, bro. You're going to fail miserably there, mate. And then a wooden coaster is dead easy. Just build a wooden coaster with eight or nine drops. You're guaranteed its intensity to be like 9.0. So that should do really, really well in the park. And no, I can't afford it. What the hell are you doing, Cecilia? <laughs> Anyways, I think I've destroyed the park. Adrenaline Heights, absolutely dismantled. There's no reason for me to build more, but I did actually fill the whole park now. I look, I thought I had some space left, but it is 
quite an inefficiently designed part because again i have a stupid mountain in the middle so i kind of just spam clicked a lot of it and built loads of big pathways but again the reason why i beat defeated the park so well i found the drink stall also there's no one going to my rise is it too expensive do you want to go into something more thrilling well, i guess it's not actually that intense is it it's the uh nausea rating that's increasing that one but that's all fine. Roman Rampage is making bank, though, and this one's only charging 12. I could charge 20 for that as well. It probably makes so much money. But that is that. Anyways, I'll fast forward to the end of the park, unlock my next one. But the way we beat this one again is we found the right rides to build. We built very long queue lines, which means the guests were not getting crowded. They got crowded and broke all my stuff. But if I had small queue lines, they would be even more crowded. Guests that are in queues that say they've been queuing for a while, don't bring down your park rating anywhere near as much, if at all, as comparison to people getting crowded. So the fact you want really, 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 really long queues, you want the whole, you want them full to the brim, and you want many of them. So basically, you have less guests walking around. If I click on actions right now, most guests are walking, 300. But then we have queuing for Colossus, three rides here. 500 guests almost just queuing for rides. Absolutely perfect. So I'm very happy with that. $74,000. The reason why I've got so much money right now is because there is a cash machine, and it's a pay-per-ride. If you get that combination, you're going to have all the money in the absolute universe. So anyways, I'm going to fast forward this one to the end, and I will see you all back at the very end to conclude the video, and then we'll see what the next park unlocked is. All righty, it's going to be close. I have 186,000 right now. I'm not going to quite break the 200,000 mark, but I do think this might be the most money we've ever had at the end of an actual scenario. And I will break 200,000. There's some videos or something later where we'll make absolute bank. But if you give me a cash machine and pay per ride, I will generate so much money that I won't even know how to spend it all. But other than that, that is Adrenaline Heights knocked out. My park ride value went down a lot because basically they stopped paying the $20 to go on to Colossus and everyone got really crowded. So everyone got very crowded and it just literally dropped to like zero. But I fixed it quickly, so it's fine. Other than that, we finished with 999. Adrenaline Heights knocked out episode 52. I've forgotten already, but we'll see. Anyways, we've unlocked Lightning Peaks, which is the final one. It's 900 guests by year three. And as far as I'm aware, if I just delete this, they, oh, it's just stupid terrain as well. 900 guests year three. Hmm. I mean, it's just an annoying terrain to play on, but 900 guests is laughable after doing like 1600. Over oh, now, we have Botany Breakers, Rotting Heights, and Lightning Peaks to knock out. And then we're moving on to the Ivory Group, where we have Utopia Park, Ivory Towers, and Thunder Rock. I will see you all back very soon, guys. Thank you for watching. See you all later.